hello guys we are back with our next tutorial in this tutorial let's see all about state reduction guys basically state reduction is one of the most important and easiest topic guys to be clear I'm saying you frankly if you see this question in the question paper or this model of state reduction problem in your question paper you should feel really happy because it's directly giving you 5 or 10 marks for free guys there's nothing much in this question so basically he'll be giving a diagram like this it may be a big larger also there is no problem with that we can just solve it within minutes got it so you can understand this directly from this video guys I'll be explaining you only a single problem but it's I'll be explaining you that in 100% clarity guys so this is the input given guys for us so he also gave that a is the initial position so always the game starts at a okay guys so just let us write the input first right input guys so on above it write state and on below it write output okay guys so I hope everyone can write this same expression right below it so take a piece of paper come on guys let's do it one one zero one zero zero okay so basically he told that we need to start at A so applying A 0 what we gonna get we gonna get A for A if we apply 1 what we gonna get B okay like that you need to fill above guys so for B if you give 0 what you gonna get C for C if you give 1 what are you going to get D for D if you give 0 it is going to sorry for D if you give 0 where will it go ok this is 0 it seems I have just wrote it wrong so it moves to E from E if you give 1 it's going to move to F so for F if you give 1 ok ok for F if you give 1 where will it go guys oops Okay, I think I had wrote some mistakes in this guys. So I missed this thing. It goes to itself only F. So for F if we give 0, it's going to G. For G if we give 1, it's coming back to F. For F if we give 0, it's coming back to G. And for G if we give 0, we're gonna go back to A. Wow, this is complete cycle. It went in some way, some way, some way and it got back to the same place. Okay. Now we need to write the output, okay. Okay, we could have done that previously, guys. I just forgot that. So we need to recheck it. So 0 to A. A0 means what's the output? 0. I'll be writing it a first A1. A1 0. B0 0. C1 0. D0 0. E1 E. F1 1. F0 0. G1 G. FG sorry, F0 0. 0 g0 0 so now we are done with our initial step guys okay this will be our initial step okay you'll be understanding that why i have just wrote this all stuff here okay so basically let us write all the variab variables and that from that table guys so let us assume those as our present states and the next states and our options guys something like that output okay let us consider it as output fine so basically we will be writing all the states guys here there is a chance of A, B, C, D, E, F and G so if the valued input is equals to 0 input is equals to 1 if input is equals to 0 the output input is equals to 1 then the output so I hope everyone knows how to fill this table so A if we give 0 what we gonna get A for A if we give 1 we gonna get B for B if we give 0 we gonna get C for C for B if we give 1 we gonna get D like that just fill the table guys I'll be doing a bit fast okay A D E F A F G F and the last one A F so similarly the values that is nothing but the output on which we divided it by something is there now that's the output guys 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 
zero one. Fine. So now we have somehow successfully filled the whole table, guys. To be clear, to be frank, we have just completely filled. We filled completely the table, guys. So now I hope everyone is now clear with the table. So if you observe this table cleanly, you can say one thing: that these two are matching, guys, and these two are also matching. Okay, these two are a pair, and these two are a pair. From that, you can just say that G is equals to E. That is nothing but E is equals to G, and these two are also matching. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just a second. Are these two matching? Oh my God! Something happened to my eyes, guys. Okay, only there is one possibility that these two are matching. So we can say that E is equals to G. So now, from this table, wherever you find G, substitute. E, got it. So this will be my one step. So I'll be going. Okay, let me take a piece of paper. That's better. Instead of cutting right there, I'm gonna just write the table again. P S N S O P. Now it will be a bit fast as we have already written it once. A B C D E F. As we told, E is equals to G. So I'll be removing the G column completely from this box, guys. So G is of no use from now on. Wherever we find G, I'll be replacing it with E. So basically, next state x is equals to zero and x is equals to one. X is equals to zero. X is equals to one. A B C D A D E F A F. Here it is G F. So G is nothing but E. So I made it E F. Fine. So further moving on, zero 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 zero. Zero one, zero one, zero one. Now, if you observe clearly again, these two are matching. So that means D is equals to F. Okay. Now, once you wrote that statement, come on, write the table again. A, B, C, D, E. Now F will be away from the table, guys. Come on. A, B, C, D, A, D, E. in place of f we will be writing d and e d yep i hope again you found something funny right so again there is a matching column guys to be clear okay let me write it off 0 0 0 0 so again these two are matching so that okay is that correct what i am doing so just give me a second guys i'll be just Rechecking it so that everything is perfect. Okay, we have replaced this D is nothing but E F. So I'll be skipping this F part. Okay, so E is A F. Sorry guys, I have just done a small mistake. This is A F. That's the reason why I'm confused. How many times will that go up and up? So this will be our final result, guys. So now what will we do is nothing but we'll be drawing this. For this values, we will be drawing the diagram. That is nothing but the state diagram. I hope everyone knows how to draw a state diagram. Here there are how many variables? A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, G, E. So now, okay, just a second, guys. Hmm. So this is zero. This is one. This is zero. This is one. Excuse me. right so basically if we give zero it is going to give itself done so if we give one it is going to be so this is one this is zero for this we going to get zero for this we going to get zero fine from now b from b if you give zero we going to get c so zero by zero if we going to give one we going to go to d but that is also one by zero from now c from c if you give zero and the output is zero then we gonna go to a wow that's a bit circle good circle okay from c if you give one and output zero it's going to d okay that's nothing but okay just give me a second that's nothing but 1 by 0 further moving on d to e if you give zero and d to d if you give one outputs are nothing but zero and one fine further moving on e to a is there and e to d is there e to a is 0 by 0 and for this 
by 1 so this will be our diagram guys so what are the things that we changed so basically we changed G with E and D with F so this is our diagram in which we are not at all having the G letter and the F letter so now as we have just drawn an initial table which you remember you asked me why we should draw that so in that we will be changing the values now A A B C D E F is nothing but D and F is nothing but D and G is nothing but E F is nothing but D G is nothing but E and the end A so write down the same values guys 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 and the output is 0 0 0 0 0 okay I'll be writing from here I messed up 0 0 1 0 1 1 so this is the output so now if you want to verify this this is the input this is the output guys so if you want to verify it you can just apply this input to this diagram guys you gonna match them so this is the main concept guys we have this much big diagram see the diagram size the previous one the initial one which you have got scared by saying it but now it's a bit small and good so this is the method which we called as state reduction method guys now I hope everyone is clear with the state reduction thank you thanks for watching hello guys in this tutorial let's see I'll be combining this tutorial with the previous tutorial guys as this part I have just missed in the previous tutorial this is all about state assignment guys I have just forgot this this is a really really small topic guys so basically in the past tutorial we have learned all about state reduction right so there is a big diagram or state diagram given so that we got the ending state table this right so for any further simplification or any kind of process as here we are having variables right a b c d e so we cannot further continue the process guys so basically we need to change these letters with some binary code so that we can if there is a need we can further continue it so we will be changing a with some binary code b with some binary code c with some binary code d with some binary code e with some binary code so there is no compulsorily we should use this binary code or something like that so let us assume that for a we took 0 0 0 so for b i took 1 0 like this so for c like this for d for e even you take any way it is possible guys so we, we will be just replacing these a b c d s with these terms and that will be our state assignment so i hope everyone is now clear with these topics guys thank you thanks for watching